Hey guys, it's Cassie and today we are doing my New York luxury haul. If you didn't know, because I've been harping on about it left, right and centre, I did go to New York City. And of course, knowing me, had to do some shopping. Usually, when I go to the US, I do focus on brands I've either really not seen in the UK or things that are exclusive to the US or American brands. Um, we do have some of those today, but I also, you'll see, I did, I did slip back into the uh, European designers category once in a while for different reasons, okay? We'll get into it. Guys, if you're new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict, clearly. Um, I've had videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion, then you're gonna love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Guys, are you ready? Let's go. Starting off with Bond number no. 9. I love Bond number no. 9 perfumes, okay? And I've now sort of made it a thing such that every time I visit New York, because it's a New York brand, that I have to treat myself to one. I honestly only tried three fragrances, and this is like one of the best sellers. There's, there's Tribeca, there's Greenwich Village, and there's Nomad that are like the top three at the moment. I smelt this. First of all, the bottle. Can we just... This one, I believe, only comes in the large size. Okay, so this is what, 100? Yeah, some of them do come in 50 and some do come in 100. What does it smell like? Oh my gosh. You know what it's aptly named? Because this, this is a Tribeca Rich Mum. It just, it smells warm. There's a sweetness. There's also like a little bit of floral in there in the background. I'm not really not like a floral scent girl. So this is described as sexy unisex floriental hello notes of cacao absolute green hazelnut jasmine sambuck absolute not a clue cedarwood ambroxan moss and caramel you get that caramel through it moss must say i've never seen a bit of moss bent down had a sniff and been like wish i could wear that on my body so don't let that put you off okay but it's just absolutely phenomenal okay so i'm very excited about that the next thing was something that i picked up in the airport on the way now although they have robbed us of our duty-free shopping experience at heathrow i did a shopping vlog at chanel and i did pick up a fabulous pair of sunglasses now i did want to say apparently this is in like a special case what do i know what do i know it's quilted it's leather i picked these for really this plus that fragrance very much the vibe let me tell you now i picked these because when it comes to sunglasses as you will see because we do have an, an, another example in this haul i do tend to go for statement okay <laughs> but this was the perfect mix of the two classic shape look at her she's gonna go with everything she's black this did also come in like a pink version with pink crystals and a sort of pink fade but i thought let's let's keep it classic okay but with a little bit of something because guess what <gasps> what's that crystals okay and what's this crystals and we love it okay because we love anything that sparkles on this channel look at that they're like baguettes as well which is also just a little bit of like mm, something a little bit interesting well they're square so and then the cc's giving us a sparkle on the side another thing that is very random but i like the fact that it doesn't have separate nose bits, okay? Because guess what? Then this is easy. Have you ever tried to do this where it's got separate nose bits and then you're getting it all uh, sod entangled in the top of your hair there? It's an absolute nightmare. So this is gonna be a pleasure. I wore these a couple of times while I was there and I had the time of my life. Okay, next up, Chrome Hearts. Chrome Hearts people are gonna like kill me for this. It is essentially a bougie, more refined ed hardy and if you know anything about me i was ride or die for ed hardy as a teenager i actually wish that i hadn't sold any of my stuff because i would i would be on here with a skull that says love kills slowly if i had the chance we do have a chrome hearts concession here in selfridges and to be honest with you like i've always gotten a little bit of like intimidating vibes from it 
and I thought you know what it's going to be cheaper in the US because it's a US brand let me just go when I'm there so I had to make an appointment like literally no sign on the wall I'm not going to lie to you I probably rat -a tat tatted on about seven doors before finally one guy sort of peeked through the window and was like it's this one Rembrandt's is one of those brands that they don't advertise online like you don't know how much stuff is this is what I'm going to tell you the t-shirts were $275 each um, as soon as leather is involved the price jacks up so just know that I think all of the rest of the stuff look it's 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 is it expensive for a t-shirt yes is it like Dior expensive for a t-shirt no so pick your battles right so I had to get one white one black there's this one it's got a little pocket on the front that says chrome hearts but then I liked the back chrome hearts USA and that's got a little bit a little bit at the tail there and you know what these for me this is going to be like an easy summer moment this with denim shorts the black one I actually saw in one of Tamara's vlogs and I was like they better have this in stock um it's got chrome hearts around the neck and then it's got a little something on the arm that also says chrome hearts and then it got chrome hearts on the back as well very good quality like I'm not going to lie to you about any of that They're just no-brainer t-shirts for me I like them is there anything particularly groundbreaking? No, they just have a bit of gothic font and they're from Chrome Hearts. I'm self-aware. <laughs> Next item. Am I proud? Not really, because this wasn't really a smart choice. Let me tell you why. Because would it have been cheaper to buy this here? Yes. However, is it just me that gets the holiday excitements? Okay, and you're like, oh, I'm having a time. Oh, I've been thinking about these sneakers get them in the bag you know so I had a little bit of a that moment I'm not regretting the item that I bought because as we know I've been talking about this for literally over a year but after much umming and ahhing she finally did end up with a pair of the Celine CT01 sneakers if you are going for these go a full size down I don't even think they do half sizes I'm usually a 39 I got a 38 got the Celine at the back I have worn these once they're a bit dirty okay so let's pretend and then you've got Celine on the tongue and everything else is basically a simple white high top it is an overpriced Air Force One yes but I like it also when I tell you how comfortable this is I, I can't I can't this is just the foam inside is so comfy I have a lot of statement shoes and the the clothes allowed we've got to really have the shoes not necessarily the shoes have got to be the side dish you can't have two mains you can't have a main here and a main there you know so this is definitely a side dish shoe i really like it again for summer all of that it's just it's a no-brainer for me next up i saw this brand quite a lot while i was in new york and i've never heard of them before lulu studio so i got a couple of things from this brand so basically i got this cropped little park ranger shirt okay it looks like on monday mornings i feed the tigers like you know it's very i don't know why i just liked the vibe and i thought this with a pair of high-waisted jeans in the spring and a pair of trainers and off you go all right um it's very light material and then the other thing is a Bottega green shirt it's a great it's got a great stiffness to it and that's what I liked about it yes it's going to crease like a normal shirt but it's not going it's going to actually hold its structure quite well I don't know if I'm making any sense my visions with this are bralette shorts this open flip flopping your way through a sunny little city in the summer okay I'm also thinking this we tie her with a little hit me baby one more time but we tie the ears into the jeans she's a different vibe you know you know me i'm a sucker for Bottega green case in point okay the next one do we remember i did a shopping vlog in selfridges and i called a dress a worm dress right turns out the worm dresses are the one so i this is from helmet lang and it is a helmet lang worm dress this dress on the hanger isn't doing anything for itself look at that look at its creepy little arms it looks like a spider costume doesn't it first of all a little bit un me a wide neck oh. ah. i was kind of into it when i tried it on now uh really nice easy material very comfortable but the thing with this is she's got the versatility because you could do this dress with 
my new Celine sneakers for a casual uh, peruse around the shops, whatever. Or you could do her with a heel and a little bag and she is out here for a date, okay? Maybe a little bit of, maybe a little bit of a choker or something around here just to adorn the neck. Ruching and worm dresses are in. Get with it. If you don't have a worm dress, you've got to find the one for you. They're also very flattering. Okay, they're very comfortable. Something interesting going on. Makes you look good. What more do you want? This, by the way, is a size extra small small. And even then, I'm not going to lie to you, it's like a little bit roomy. So I'm like a UK 10. A 12 could wear this, a 14 could wear this, okay? So just keep that in mind with sizing if you're interested in the wormy. Let's do a little bit of the old orange box. I didn't get a bag, okay? Do you honestly think if I got a Hermes bag that it would be in a haul? That would be a dedicated video, people. Come on. And there's a reason why I bought these. I knew I would never see these in the UK. And what I mean by that is the UK has them. It's just that they would be sold out. Um, I did go online and they were sold out in my size. You would have to be fast for these. And I was like, right time, right place. You got my size. Thank you very much. It's where Iran sandals. I will say I get the sodding hype. But they're just very comfortable. But you have to be aware of the leather that you're buying. Let me just show you. Are you ready? Because these are a bit special. Da -da -da! She's two-tone. Fun, right? The H's are a beautiful orange suede right and then you've got this baby blue on the sole which obviously is just going to peek up between the toes or when you're flip flopping mid flop mid flip and mid flop the other reason why i decided to buy these while i was there is that even after new york tax these came out as eight pounds more expensive than the uk all right ms prices are very very comparable to the uk in new york anyway these are suede yeah you've got to be careful with them but let's be honest spring summer we're hoping we're in dry situations and i just think that nice pop little bit of color they're just fun okay they're fun the next thing really random i was in nordstrom and they had a whole section that was like black owned designers for black history month and i saw this and i was like you're interesting, I'm kind of into you. This, I need to get a pair, pair, I need to get a pair of like black tailored shorts. Black, yeah, 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 I want black. White would also work, but I have a dark soul. So it is this, so the designer, this is like Ghanaian print. And I am going to Ghana, but I'm not obviously just gonna wear this in Ghana. Like this is a spring summer moment in general. The sleeves really pulled me in because look at that nice little puff. I like that. I like the fact that it has this like shirt fabric, whatever, and it's a crisscross, right? So you do the criss, you do the cross, you tie it, done. You could do this with like um, a neutral pencil skirt or any sort of neutral skirt, or I want to do a tailored short and these, done. Done, 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 done. Checked off. Thank you very much. Goodbye. So I just thought that it was really easy, really cute, very fun. Obviously, I love the Ghanaian influence as um, a quarter of a Ghana girl myself. You could also totally dress that with like a tailored trouser for like a dinner moment. A mm, little bit of pizzazz on the top. Mm, I like it. Okay, this set is a sodding winner. I'm calling it a set because it matches, but they're, both things are sold separately, okay? It's so good that when I showed my mum, she was like, and you will be going back to Intermix and buying me the same, thank you. So I did. Okay, firstly, it's like a shirt and it's um, with little white and green pinstripes. Now, she's boxy and she's cropped and then she has matching boxer shorts. Oh my gosh, first of all, an elastic waistband for the summer, give it to me, all right? This also, it's got pockets as well. This kind of set as well, the air is flowing, you feel light and breezy. That with this, done, she's a little bit edgy, right? Little pop of colour bag. That with this, oh, she's elegant, she's a little bit chic. Oh my god, offer her a Birkin, why don't you? I just, I loved how much of a no-brainer this set was. I got both of these in a size small, great, you know, little bit of room there, just an absolute pleasure to wear. I can imagine this in Miami. I could imagine this in St. Bart's. Not technically something that I bought in the US, but I pre-ordered this with my Keep All XS and it finally arrived and I thought, what an opportunity. 
this is weird. Nee described me as looking like I do chemistry experiments with these sunglasses. However, they're unique, they're different, and I think with the right outfit, they're about to slay. Also, they're, you know, a Virgil piece. These were a very Virgil design. He brought the design in. Okay, Cassie, stop trying to justify it. Are they ridiculous? Are they wide? Yes. Are they also kind of everything? Imagine these with that Chrome Hearts t-shirt, black tailored shorts, and my Celine high tops. It's like, oh, she's a little bit edgy, she's a little bit interesting. I want to have a conversation with that woman. Then, I'm not gonna lie to you, this is what these glasses are. You've got the gold LVs on the side, and then you've got this little flower monogram detail in the middle with uh, some little crystals and all of that. And aside from that, the rest of it's clear. And yes, they do have UV protection. So that's always a always an added bonus in sunglasses, isn't it? That they do their job. I have been bullied for my next purchase. So this will be gifted to my mother. <laughs> I was bullied by me and Parisa, my friend. She's been on the channel a couple of times. So I was in Bergdorf and I saw this and it spoke to my little heart, okay? And this is a collaboration between Christopher John Rogers and Bergdorf. And it is a purple sweatshirt that has Bergdorf Goodman and crystals on it. It is very care-bearery. I think it's really cute and special and interesting. Warning. She has been letting the girls have it since 1901, okay? This t-shirt was made in collaboration with the one and only Christopher John Rogers and should be taken extremely seriously. This t-shirt is not a joke and this t-shirt is certainly not a toy. I want to keep it now. I'm going to have to have a discussion with my mother about this one. The last item is very special. They do reissue pieces with little New York charms that are only available at the Chanel New York boutiques. And you know me, when it says it's limited edition, I'm a sucker. Is this not just the most fabulous, bougie commemoration of my trip? I love it so much. Okay, so you've got the reissue, the Chanel reissue style here with the quilting and the little um, Mademoiselle lock. And I was in the Chanel Madison Avenue store with Alyssa Lenore and Rebecca, who is the Bergdorf personal shopper that uh, kindly took us around and all of that. We ended up all getting one. I just, it's like the bougiest little souvenir ever. Now, I don't have a pouch like this. Uh, I've got the little authenticity card and everything. And also, on the inside, I hope that you can see, it actually says, do you see? It says, Chanel, 57th Street, New York. Now, while it wasn't the shop <laughs> that I bought this from, I did buy it from the Madison Avenue shop, not the 57th Street one, right? But the fact that it's like special to New York, I've never seen anything like this before. I don't think they've, I've never seen anything like this in London or whatever. They also had big reissue bags with these like loads and loads of different charms on and they had like a wallet as well and you've got like a little apple with the skyline in it you've got a taxi and you've got a little new york with the crystals and i thought do you want to know what this is just going to be like another little wallet for me so there you go guys what did you think of my very weird haul <laughs> <laughs> um, let me know what was your favourite item in the comments. I'm going to leave a link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are. In the words of my father. If you've enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you haven't, keep your mouth shut. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.